Dear friends, welcome to his American English Center. Take care. Raymond Murphy's Grammar in News. Video number 90, we have come here. We have come here to the page number 98, 99. This is the University, Cambridge University Press. Dear folks, we have come here to the unit number 49. Direct to indirect speech. So, what the word order changes? How the word order changes, right? How did you pass the examination? How did you pass the examination? See, how comes first? Did comes second? You comes third? Object comes four. How did you pass the examination? So, auxiliary verb, do, does, did, am, is, are, was. All these auxiliary verbs comes before the pronoun. I, we, you, you, he, she, it, they. Then it becomes a question sentence. See here, study these examples. You had an interview. You had an interview, right? You went for an interview and for a job. You went for a job. You had an interview and you for a job. These were some of the questions the interviewer asked you. So these are the some of the questions which the interviewer has asked you during the time of interview. What did you what did he ask you? How old are you? The interviewer asked you, see, interviewer asks you the question, how old are you? See, where this, see the sentence structure, how old are you? So, R comes before the you, how old are you? What do you do in your spare time? What do you do in your spare time? So, do comes before you. What do you do in your spare time? See, how long have you been working in your present jobs? So already you are working in a company and you come here for the, you know, one of the jobs. So, they, he asks you, interview asks you, how long have you been working in your present job? So, this have, auxiliary verb comes before you. How long have you been working in this present job why did you apply for this job did comes before the auxiliary before the pronoun you why did you apply for the job why did you apply for the job why did you apply for the job did is a past question right past tense have you got a driving license have you got a driving license have you got a driving license have comes before you you as a pronoun you is the subject so here how is there information what is there information how is there information why is there information have it is yes or no question right when you start a sentence with have do does did it is answer should be yes or no when you use the information how you have to say the number how how old are you you have to say the number not yes or no you have to say what you have to explain how you have to explain why you have to explain but when a have comes you have to say yes or no right so one yes or no question and nearly one two three four four informative questions you able to understand see the order here information why when which where is coming then you get auxiliary verb if it is past did if it is present do and does if it is past it is was if it is present it is is or are if it is past it is had if it is present you are using have you able to understand are see do do is a present tense are is a present tense have is a present tense did is a past tense yeah have you got have is a present tense right present perfect so you have to first understand the structure the word order and you have to know whether it is in the past tense or in the present tense the question see later you tell a friend so interviewer asked you these five questions one two three four five later after after the interview you come and tell to your friend what the interviewer asked you now you're coming and telling your friend what the interviewer has said to you what did the interviewer has asked you able to understand interviewer has asked you five questions direct questions later you go and tell to your friend what the interviewer told you in indirect speech you are reported speech you are reporting the speech. You are reporting the speech. You are reporting the speech to your friend. How do you say? You say, she asked me. She asked me. She asked me. Or she asked me. Or it is not necessary that I am a must to use me. You can say, she asked. Hmm. How old are you? Changes into how old? I was. You changes into I. R changes into was. Why are you not using where? Because subject is I. See how old I was. Right? Here are you. Before you, auxiliary verb. Here, 
after see before pronoun auxiliary verb here after pronoun i you are using the auxiliary verb what was present tense are changes into past tense was right so indirect speech you are using past tense indirect speech the pronoun changes are uh, you changes into i you got it sir now coming here what do you do in your spare time what do you do in your spare time is an information she wanted to know she wanted to know it is the main verb she wanted to me no so all whenever you are reporting or you was using it into past tense she wanted to know what i did in my spare time what do you do in your spare time changes into what i did in my spare time do you see you and do do comes before you here you changes into i do changes into did tenses changes what i did in my spare time third question how long have you been working in your present job how long have you been working in this present job so she asked me how long ah uh, have you changes into you changes into i have changes into had how long i had been working in my present job right how long i had been working in the present job so why are you using have you been working because it is present perfect continuous have you been working it is present perfect continuous so here it changes into past perfect continuous how long i had been working in my present job she asked me next why did you apply for the job why did you apply for the job it changes into what sir she asked me why did you apply changes into you changes into i did changes into had applied so past tense changes into past perfect past tense changes into past perfect right it changes into had eaten past tense did you apply changes into i had applied past perfect right why i had applied after i subject see auxiliary verb comes in reported speech subject comes first auxiliary verb comes second here in direct speech auxiliary verb did they do and uh, r comes uh, front and uh, pronoun comes next subject comes next why i had applied for the job or why i applied you able to understand all these things are you clear man hmm direct question what they have asked indirect speech what you are going to report in indirect speech what changes the tenses changes in reported speech what changes the pronoun changes in direct speech after the auxiliary verb you find pronouns do after the do you but here in indirect speech you are using the pronouns first or subject first then auxiliary verb comes right are you clear sir are you clear now coming here she wanted to know next question oh she wanted to know have you got a driving license isn't it have you got a driving license have you got a driving license yes sir then uh, here could you speak any foreign language is it there no it is not written where where is it no it is not written so uh, uh, can you speak it should come can you speak can you speak any foreign language right this is one other question can you speak any foreign language this is one other question sir right interviewer asked you can you speak any foreign language see this can is the auxiliary verb it comes before you can you speak any foreign language how does it change so the interviewer she wanted to know see can you speak it started starts with can right when it starts with can when it starts with have when there is no information that you are using whether or if whether or if whether or if you able to understand when you are going for a reported speech if there is no information word like how what when which where why if it starts with auxiliary verb can and have you are using whether and if can you speak any foreign language she wanted to know you are using whether or if whether i could speak any foreign language you changes into i can changes into could whether i could speak any foreign language or she wanted to know if i could speak any foreign language are you clear about it are you clear about it so next question interview asks have you got a driving license have you got a driving license so how do you how do you change see this is auxiliary verb comes before the subject you so no information uh, yes or no so you have to use whether or if she asked whether 
I had. Have you got changes into? I had. I had. I changes. You changes into I and have changes into had. Whether I had a driving license or if I had a license. Understand sir. So now we are coming here to the exercise. You have been away for a while and have just come back to your home, hometown. Hometown, right? So you went to Delhi. Then after some time, after one or three years or five years, you are coming back to Chennai. You have come back to your hometown. Your hometown is Chennai. You meet Jerry. Now you are meeting Jerry, a friend of yours, right? After a long time in Delhi, five years, you are coming back to your hometown. And you meet your friend Jerry. He asks a lot of questions. What does he ask? He asks you a question. How are you? Jerry asks you a question. What does he ask you? How are you? Number two, he asks, where have you been? Where have you been all these days? Third question, he asks you, how long have you been back? When did you come back to Chennai? How long have you been back? The first quest, fourth question, he asks you, what are you doing now? What are you doing now? Who asks? Jerry asks you. And Jerry asks you, where are you living? Now in Chennai, where are you living? So Jerry asks you, why did you come back? Why did you come back from Delhi? Why can't you stay there? Why did you come back from Delhi? You, are you glad to be back? Are you happy to be back? Are you happy to be back in Chennai? Right? These are the questions who asks uh, Jerry asks for to you. Then how do you go and report? Now you tell another friend what Jerry has asked you. Now you are coming back and telling, okay, my friend Gayatri is there. I am telling to Gayatri what Jerry has asked. So I say, I say, I say to my friend, what do I say? I say, Jerry asked me. Jerry asked me, how are you changes into? How are you changes into? How I was? How are you changes into? You is the subject. R is the auxiliary verb. So here, the pronoun I comes friend. How are you changes into? How? How are you? I am asking. You are going and saying, how I was? R changes into? Was. So Jerry asked me, how I was? He asked me, number two, where have you been? Where have you changes into? He asked me, where have you been? Changes into. Here, pronoun is here. Auxiliary verb is here. Where I had been. Or where I had been. Apostrophe D means had. Where I had been. Able to understand? So, third question. How long have you been back? How long are you in Chennai? How long have you been back? He asked me, how long you are using? Have you changes into? I had been back. How long I had, I had been? back fourth question what are you doing now what are you doing now changes into fourth he asked me what are you changes into what i was doing now what i was doing now and fifth he asked where are you living he asked me where where are you living changes into where i was living and next why did you come back changes into six he asked me why i had come back why did you come back into had past participle past perfect right he asked me are you back see all these words are all information how where how long what where why now here it starts with the r so when it starts with r you are using yes or no right when it starts with r you are using yes or no so here he asked me you are using the weather or, or if he asked me whether are you glad to be back changes into whether I was glad to be back right able to understand are you clear are you clear about it okay I think you gentlemen have time isn't it you have to go to your office come first and tell what you are able to understand and go yes here are the students after the class is over they uh, they are supposed to speak yes If uh, if anyone ask how what uh, like this, we will answer the questions. If uh, anyone ask uh, have or can, uh, we can say the yes or no only. Because um, Okay, this gentleman is busy with his office time. Yes, you can leave it slowly, go through that, that side. Uh, leave that. The other side, as I request uh, uh, you gentlemen to come forward and tell what you are able to understand one by one. Make it fast. 
Look at the camera and speak. When a dark speech and indirect speech, when you, when you, when someone asking how old are you, when someone asking what she asked you, she, uh, we reported, she asked me how old I was. This was a uh, noun and uh, so a verb will change. Like that, she wanted to know uh, what I, what will I do in spare time. It will change what I did in my spare time. Like that, it will change. A noun verb will change. Okay, I request uh, you gentlemen to come forward. Yes, uh, he is a person who is going abroad. Yes, in short, could you speak and tell what you are able to understand? Good morning to everyone. Here is a direct speech to indirect speech. Uh, direct speech is uh, a... The uh, indirect speech, direct speech, the uh, pronoun comes after the um, after the verb. Okay. I request you, gentlemen, to come forward and tell in short. Come, come, make it fast. Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Siva. Uh, today, I speak to uh, direct speech and indirect speech. Indirect speech to uh, reporters. Uh, the interviewer, how old are you? Uh, then I asked to my, I asked my friend. Uh, she asked me, she asked me, how old I was. Next, have you got your li driving license? I asked my friend. She asked if if I got your driving license. Okay, okay. Yes, Mr. Inky, please come forward. Okay, Nanberle Mudi, yes, American Angela Wopul Gorevicum, Raymond Murphy, Nudi, Angela, Ilakaram, Pine Pade, in the video number Tunur Pay, Tunutu Tunutum, the unit Napatium, both the Cambridge Palvacala, Clacam Mulamaka, Nanberle, near Kutu, Air Kutri Patro, near Kutu and Dalina, over Unidam, Sulva, near Kutri, Air Kutri and Dalina, our inner sonaro, other Matavangal and Poy Sulva, the Air Kutri, in the near Kutri and the Air Kutri K, Kail Vikalaka on the Rikrom, Kail Vikal and Dalina. Kale vehicle in Dal, Tony Venachur Kalana do what does it did to Varavain term, other Kapakatale in a Varavain term. You, I, we, you, they, and the subject to Varavain term. Right? Yopolu the Vandai. When did you come? When did you come? Yopolu the Takaval Varte. When did the auxiliary verb you come? And the you engage very here there. Did the Kapiraka very here there. You engage very here there. Did the Kapraka very here? Did they give very here? You will come Munadi very here. When did you come? When do you go? When will you go? And the when can you go? When is he going? Ipriaka is am, are, was, where, a night term in the Yerk Munadi very here. The Predivate should come in Adi very here about the other Kelvivaki and Galaka very here. They study these examples. You had an inner view. Or an ermukatirvu, Kalandu Kondai, for a job or Veleka, and there were some questions the interviewer asked you. Sila Kelvikal in Ermukatirvala, Unudam Ketkiraru, number one, Unvayri in there. How old are you? In Keparanga, how we recall the Takaval Varte, how old Takaval Varte, are you recall the Tunai when I told you and with the subject? How old are you? The Yubu community than our Varavento. What do you do in your spare time? Unudi Puludubek Nerathle in the Say Hundi cry. So, what in the Takaval Varte in the do in the Yubu community do what I mean term? Kelvi Varte in the Nigal Kalam, do a way to Ara way to Nigal Kalama, and the Kalama and the Arindu Kola Vent up an air Mukatir Valar Unidam Ketkira, Un Vaya the Yenavaki, Rikira de Yerunda the Le Unudi Puludubok Nerathle in the Say He Rai, Say Thy and the Ketpa the Nigal Kalam. How long have you been working in your present job? Unudi. Tapu the Rika Kuria Valley, Ethana and Kalamaka Valley, say the Hundi Rikirai. Up in the valley, Lund, the Nor Valley, Varavend, Madaka, Nermuka Tervala, Reda Mandarikira, Nermuka Tervala, Kate Kirar, in the valley, Ethana and Kalamaka Valley, say the Hundi Rikirai. So present perfect continuous have put to Vidikirai. In the have in Gay Varikira, the Yuk Minari Varikira, why did you apply for the job? In Kaparang, in Gay did then to Varikira, the Yaranda Kalam. Yen in the Valley, Vinna Pita, in the Vinna Pita, did then with the Yuk Munadi when the Yaranda Kalati Kurikira, 
ஹாவ் யூ காட் எ டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் உன்னிடம் ஒரு டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் இருக்கிறதா ஓட்டுநர் உரிமை இருக்கிறதா கேன் யூ ஸ்பீக் எனி ஃபாரின் லாங்குவேஜ் இந்த கேன் உன்னால் வெளிநாட்டு மொழி பேச முடியுமா இந்த கேன் எங்கே வருகிறது யுவுக்கு முன்னாடி கேன் வருகிறது ரைட்டா ஸோ இதுவே அனைத்து கேள்வி வாசகங்கள் ஸோ ஒன்று ரெண்டு மூன்று நான்கு ஐந்து ஆறு ஆறு கேள்விகளை நேர்முக தேர்வாளர் கேட்கிறார் ஸோ லேட்டர் யூ டெல் ஏ ஃப்ரெண்ட் வாட் த இன்டர்வியூ ஆஸ்ட் யூ நேர்முக தேர்வாளர் உன்னிடம் என்ன கேட்டார் என்று இன்னொரு நண்பர் நண்பனிடம் போய் சொல்லுகிறாய் யூ ஆர் ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் அதை ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் என்றால் என்ன அவர் சொன்ன தகவலை மற்றவர்களுக்கு சொல்கிறாய் நேர்முக தேர்வாளர் என்ன சொல்கிறாரோ அதை மற்றவர்களிடம் சொல்கிற பொழுது ஹவ் ஓல்ட் ஆர் யூ என்ன வயது உனக்கு என்று அவர் கேட்டது ஷி ஆஸ்ட் மீ அந்த நேர்முக தேர்வாளர் பெண்ணாக இருக்கிறார் அவள் கேட்டால் அல்லது அந்த அம்மையார் கேட்டார் ஆஸ்கடு மீ இங்கே இறந்த காலம் தான் சொல் போட வேண்டும் ஆஸ்க் என்று போடக்கூடாது ஆஸ்கடு மீ ஏனால் அது முடிவுற்ற காலத்தை குறிக்கிறது ஷி ஆஸ்ட் மீ ஹவ் ஓல்ட் ஐ வாஸ் How old are you? How old are you? How old I was? You are the same as I was. I was the same as I was. So, I am the same as I was. You change the same as I was. I am the same as I was. You are 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 the same as I was. வாஸ் வருகிறது விளக்கத்திற்கு ரெண்டாவது வாட் டு யூ டூ இன் யோர் ஸ்பேர் டைம் உன்னது உன்னுடைய பொழுதுபோக்கு நேரத்தில் என்ன செய்வாய் என்று கேட்கிற பொழுது ஷீ வாண்டட் டு நோ அந்த அம்மையாருக்கு என்னிடம் கேட்க வேண்டியதாக இருந்தது நேர்முக தேர்வாளருக்கு வாட் ஐ டிட் இன் மை ஸ்பேர் டைம் என்னுடைய பொழுதுபோக்கு நேரத்தில் என்ன செய்தேன் என்று அவர் கேட்டார் வாட் டு யூ டூ இன் யோர் ஸ்பேர் டைம் என்பது வாட் ஐ டிட் இன் மை ஸ்பேர் டைம் என்று வருகிறது ஸோ இந்த டூ என்பது யூவுக்கு முன்னாடி வருகிறது இங்கே அந்த டூ டிட் என்று ஐயுக்கு பிறகு வருகிறது இங்கே அமைப்பு மாற்றங்கள் ஏற்படுகிறது அடுத்தது மூன்றாவது ஹவு லாங் ஹாவ் யூ பீன் ஒர்க்கிங் இன் யோர் ப்ரெசன்ட் ஜாப் எத்தனை ஆண்டு காலமாக இதே வேலையில் வேலை செய்து கொண்டிருந்தாய் இங்கே ஹேவ் என்பது ஹேடாக மாற வேண்டும் யூ என்பது ஐயாக மாற வேண்டும் ஷி ஆஸ்ட் மீ அவர் என்னிடம் கேட்டார் எத்தனை ஆண்டு காலமாக அந்த வேலையிலே நான் வேலை செய்து கொண்டே இருந்தேன் ஹவு லாங் ஐ ஹேட் பீன் ஒர்க்கிங் இன் மை ப்ரெசன்ட் ஜாப் நான்காவது கேள்வி She asked me, uh, why did you apply for the job? In the way, why did you apply for the job? 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 Pass perfect. She asked me, why I had applied? Did you apply for the job? Why I had applied for the job? She wanted to know, Can you speak any foreign language? நேர்முக தேர்விலே அந்த அம்மையார் என்னிடம் கேட்டார் உனக்கு ஏதாவது வெளிநாட்டு மொழி பேச தெரியுமா கேன் யூ ஸ்பீக் எனி ஃபாரின் ஃபாரின் லாங்குவேஜ் இந்த கேன் முடியுமா என்பது யூ என்ற பிரதிபேச் சொல்லுக்கு முன்னாடி வருகிறது கேன் யூ ஸ்பீக் எனி ஃபாரின் லாங்குவேஜ் அயர் கூற்றிலே ஷி வாண்டட் டு நோ வெதர் ஐ குட் ஸ்பீக் எனி ஃபாரின் லாங்குவேஜ் வெதர் என்று போட்டு விட வேண்டும் இங்கே ஹவ் வாட் ஹவ் ஒய் இதெல்லாம் தகவல் கொடுக்கக்கூடிய வார்த்தைகள் போட்டு போடுகிற காரணத்தினாலே வெதர் இஃப் போடக்கூடாது இங்கே கேன் ஹேவுடன் ஆரம்பிக்கக்கூடிய கேள்வி வாக்கியங்கள் இருக்கிற காரணத்தினாலே வெதர் அல்லது இஃப் போட வேண்டும் ஷி ஆஸ் வெதர் ஐ குட் ஸ்பீக் எனி ஃபாரின் லாங்குவேஜ் கேன் யூ என்பது ஐ கேன் வெதர் ஐ கேன் என்று வருகிறது அடுத்தது இறுதியான கேள்வி ஹாவ் யூ ஐ காட் ஏ டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் உன்னிடம் ஒரு டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் இருக்கிறதா என்று அவர் கேட்க She asked me whether, அல்லது இஃப் போட வேண்டும் ஐ ஹேட் எ டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் என்னிடம் டிரைவிங் லைசன்ஸ் இருக்கிறதா என்று கேட்டார் ஸோ வெதர் டு யூ ஹேவ் வெதர் ஹாவ் யூ காட் என்பது ஐ ஹேட் என்று மாறிவிடுகிறது ஸோ அடுத்தது பாருங்கள் ஒரு பயிற்சி யூ ஹவ் பீன் அவே ஃபார் ஏ அண்ட் ஹவ் ஜஸ்ட் கம் பேக் டு யோர் ஹோம் டவுன் நீ வெளிநாட்டுக்கு போயிருக்கிறாய் அல்லது வெளியூருக்கு போயிருக்கிறாய் உதாரணத்துக்கு டெல்லியிலே போய் ஒரு மூன்று ஆண்டு காலம் ஐந்து ஆண்டு காலம் இருந்து விட்டு சென்னைக்கு வருகிறாய் தற்காலிகமாக யு மீட் கெரி ஏ ஃப்ரெண்ட் ஆஃப் யோர்ஸ் உன்னுடைய தோழன் கெரியை பார்க்கிறாய் He asked a lot of questions. லாட் ஆஃப் கொஸ்டின் அவன் உன்னிடம் பல கேள்விகள் கேட்கிறான் நீ டெல்லியில் இருந்து இருக்கிறாய் ஒரு நான்கு ஐந்து ஆண்டு காலமாக திடீர் உன்னுடைய சொந்த ஊர் சென்னைக்கு வந்திருக்கிறாய் ரோட்டிலே கெரியை பார்க்கிறாய் கெரி உன்னிடம் ஒரு சில கேள்வி கேட்கிறான் ஹவு ஆர் யூ எப்படி இருக்கிறாய் Where have you been? எங்கே இத்தனை நாள் சென்றிருந்தாய் How long have you been back? திரும்பி சென்னை வந்து எத்தனை நாட்கள் ஆகிவிட்டது What are you doing now? இப்பொழுது என்ன செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாய் Where are you living? இப்பொழுது சென்னையிலே எங்கே வாழ்ந்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாய் Why did you come back? எதற்காக டெல்லியிலிருந்து சென்னைக்கு திரும்பி வந்தாய் Are you glad to be back? சென்னைக்கு திரும்பி வந்ததால சந்தோஷம் அடைகிறாயா இத்தனை கேள்விகள் கேட்கிறான் யார் கேட்கிறான் கெரி 
உன்னை பார்த்து கேட்கிறான் இங்கே ஹவு தகவல் வார்த்தை வேர் தகவல் வார்த்தை ஹவு லாங் தகவல் வார்த்தை வாட் தகவல் வார்த்தை வேர் தகவல் வார்த்தை இங்கே ஒய் தகவல் வார்த்தை இது ஒன்றுதான் ஆர் என்று போட்டு ஆமாம் இல்லை கேள்வி வாக்கியமாக வருகிறது இவன் கேள்வி கேட்ட ஜெரி கேள்வி கேட்ட விஷயத்தை இன்னொரு நண்பனிடம் போய் சொல்லிக்கிற பொழுது ஹவ் ஆர் யூ ஜெரி கேட்டான் அப்போ நீ உன் நண்பனை பார்த்து சொல்கிற ஜெரி என்னிடம் ரோட்டில் பார்த்து கேட்டான் நான் எப்படி இருந்தேன் என்று யாஸ்ட் மீ ஹவ் ஐ வாஸ் ஹவ் ஆர் யூ என்பது ஹவ் ஐ வாஸ் என்று மாறிவிடுகிறது யூ என்பது ஐயாக மாறிவிடுகிறது ஆர் என்பது வாசாக மாறிவிடுகிறது வேர் ஹவ் யூ பீன் எங்கே இருந்தா இத்தனை நாட்களாக என்று அவன் கேட்டான் ஸோ யாஸ்ட் மீ வேர் ஐ ஹேட் பீன் எங்கே நான் இருந்திருந்தேன் என்று எங்கே இருந்திருந்தா என்பது எங்கே இருந்திருந்தேன் என்று அவன் கேட்டான் வேர் ஐ ஹேட் பீன் அப்போஸ்டி டீனா ஹேட் மூன்று ஹவு லாங் ஹவ் யூ பீன் பேக் சென்னை வந்து எத்தனை ஆண்டு காலம் ஆகிவிட்டது அல்லது எத்தனை நாட்கள் ஆகிவிட்டது ஹி ஆஸ்ட் மீ ஹவு லாங் ஹை ஹேட் பீன் பேக் எத்தனை நாட்கள் ஆகி ஆகிவிட்டது நான் இங்கே வந்து என்று நீ என்பது யூ என்பது ஐயாக மாறிவிடுகிறது ஹேவ் என்பது ஹேடாக மாறிவிடுகிறது ஸோ நான்கு வாட் ஆர் யூ டூயிங் நவ் இப்பொழுது என்ன செய்து கொண்டிருக்கிறாய் அவன் நேரடியாக கேட்ட கேள்வி உன்னுடைய நண்பனிடம் நீ சொல்கிறாய் ஹி ஆஸ்ட் மீ வாட் ஐ வாஸ் டூயிங் now now endru then endru sollalam what i was doing are you doing endru what i was doing endru mari vidikirathu where are you living chennai le enge vaalndu kondirikkira endru ketkira bodhu aindu he asked me where i was living where are you living endru where i was living endru mari vidikirathu why did you come back edarkaga thirumbi vandha endru endru he asked me why i had come back ye naan thirumbi vandhen endru seventh are you glad to be back or yes or no question whether poda vendum he asked me whether i was glad to be back naan thirumbi vandadil sandosham adaindena endru kettan he asked me if i was glad to be back so nanbargale what you are able to understand இன்டர்வியூ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆர் எனி கொஸ்டின்ஸ் அதை போய் ரிப்போர்ட்டிங் ஸ்பீச்சில் நீங்கள் போய் மற்றவர்களிடம் சொல்லிக்கிற பொழுது பிரதிபேட் சொல் இந்த யூ மாறிவிடுகிறது இந்த டென்சஸ் மாறிவிடுகிறது ஆர்டர் மாறிவிடுகிறது இந்த ப்ரொனவுனுக்கு முன்னாடி வரக்கூடிய அந்த ஆக்சிலரி பின்னாடி வருகிறது ஓப் யூர் ஏபிள் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் தேங்க்யூ வெரி மச்